All right, somebody asked for a tour of the new gauges I used in the my panel makeover. Um, they're all ISPRO gauges for the most part, except for the two digitals that I use. Um, up in the top left corner, I kept the uh, the switches the same for fan, ether, and lamp test. Not that the lamp test does all that much. Um, transmission control is the same. Uh, where the front air pressure gauge was, I put in a dual needle gauge that has a, a red needle. Red is for rear, white is for front. So that reads both system pressures on one gauge. Uh, simple fuel level, uh, digital fuel level gauge that uh, is compatible with the sensor in the tank, so that's pretty straightforward. I added a uh, oil temperature gauge, which will be for transmission oil temperature. I'm going to put a sensor in the line feeding to the to the cooler. Um, didn't do much with the indicator light panel except uh, clean up the face a little bit, paint the bezel. Same with the speedometer. Didn't do anything to the buzzer. Um, have a uh, oil pressure gauge is in the normal location, temperature is in the normal location. Where the voltmeter used to be, I installed another oil temperature gauge. This will be for engine oil temperature. Uh, up in the top right, I installed a dual digital gauge where the hazard flasher switch used to be. The hazard flasher switch I moved down next to the light switch. Um, the light switch is a, um, a two position off park and headlights switch, uh, repurposed industrial switch. So it actually looked like it would go pretty nice in the panel. Um, I can also lock it. <laughs> not that that, uh, not that that makes much difference. Um, the digital gauge, uh, I, I repurposed some of the uh, standardized test equipment wires, STE wires, that ran directly to the alternator. So that 12 and 24 volts is sampled right off of the alternator. And so it's basically uh, alternator or direct battery power, direct battery voltage levels. Um, where the, uh, the filter minder, the filter vacuum gauge used to be, I put in a, um, a primary fuel pressure gauge. that gives me uh, fuel pressure entering the secondary filter. Then of course there's my, uh, the manual CTIS control. Um, the top reading is wet tank pressure, the bottom reading is tire system pressure so I can uh, give it a shot of air to open the wheel valves and that's my current tire pressure at 74 psi. Now let's start it up. Oil pressure lights out, oil pressure gauge is up and fuel pressure is at 20 psi. I think, I think the systems were low enough to uh, cause it to kick the compressor there. The compressor should be online now. Watch the air pressure rebuild there where you can see it building in the wet tank as well. As it refills the wet tank and the primary and secondary tanks after those couple of brake pedal applications. Full at 100, right around 120. I can maybe need to bump my governor up just a little bit. Anyway, that's about it. I've got a nice fancy new steering wheel to uh, to top off the installation. Anyway, have a good day.